evil little warden plotting and scheming of ways to rip off the prisoners when we finally get them, which should be today. Yeah, I had to um, make a little change because I lost all the video. <laughs> I did. Uh, I did about two hours of recording, and I lost it all except what you've already seen. <laughs> uh, I ran out of hard drive space, so I was looking for trying to find some. And there was there was like you know, forty five gig of. Uh, a video there, so I was looking for some hard drive space, and so uh, I was just deleting any file that was just really big. I still had the map, of course, I still had the prison, but it was a lot further on than what you last saw, and it had a canteen, it had a prison block, and I thought, well, we can't just start the video and have the whole prison established. <laughs> so I st restarted it over again. Now, I like to be honest about these things, so it has restarted, that's why you notice some changes, particularly around these rooms. Uh, I did restart it over and we picked it up exactly where we left off, uh, which is a good thing. Let's put that door there, and let's stick some of these. The nice thing about these visitor booths, these, these particular visitor booths, is that they make sure that the prisoners and the visitors cannot mingle. They cannot pass contraband between them. Now, we need a holding cell and we need a canteen. So, first things first. We need, um, we don't need a, we need, we need a plan. We need a plan. Um, uh, canteen is going to be one big canteen. I like, I like, well, let me think. Um, we could do, we could do like a, a small canteen there, a small canteen there, a small canteen there, and build modules of prisons all around each one. But that would be fine if we were using different types of prisoners, yeah, you know, like minimum, normal, and maximum security. But we're not, we're using maximum security. This is going to be a maximum security prison with gangs. So we have one big canteen, I think, is the best thing to do. And I like having one big canteen because you get a lot of fights. <laughs> I like I like watching the fights. It's like you know watching boxing or something. <laughs> Watch the gangs go off. Um, so we're gonna go here. Um, so we're gonna need rooms here. Eighteen thinking security because security doesn't need to be anywhere. Near. Security can be as far away from the computer from the. From the main part of the prison as possible. You don't need this at the moment. Go away. That's I rechange. I changed the axis by the way. It was off. This one is going to be a holding cell. So that's going to be a holding cell. And we're going to have a gap. Uh, this is going to be infirmary. I'd like infirmary to be, damn it! I'd like infirmary to be a decent size. Um, be sixteen, and then we need uh, maybe more, maybe twenty. Yeah, and then we're going to need a storage area, and that's going to be right on feeding right onto the kitchen. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just working out where's. Where's everything gonna go? So this is this is gonna go feed into the kitchen, which is going to be around here somewhere. That's gonna be our kitchen there. Can't see we can get rid of that. Should get rid of that. And then the canteen is probably gonna be something like well, I have to wait and see about that. Um now not all of this is gonna be used at first. Um I don't really know that. Uh, don't really know that about that yet. We are also going to have a room across here. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to have uh, a utility room in here because with a really big prison and a big canteen like this, the kitchen and the canteen takes up really one full transformer. So there's going to be a transformer in here. So we're going to go... Let's, um, 
me it's five by five. And that should do it. And we just need to get rid of that. That's all you need. Yeah, you you need your own power supply uh, transformer just for the just for the kitchen and canteen because it uses a lot of power, particularly really big prison. Um, so um, I don't know what that. Oh right, lock up. <laughs> um, next we're gonna need uh, objects. We're gonna have to put down stoves. So um, uh, let's let's go. That's six. 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 I'm just going to put all of these in, but we're not going to use all of these. We're going to divide this this room into two, and half of it's going to be kitchen, and half of it's going to be canteen, at least for now, uh, until we start start building up, uh, until we start filling up this quadrant. Once we fill up this quadrant, then we'll start adding in. Well, maybe less than that. We will get a cell block in. Once we get a cell block in, we'll start putting the canteen in. And start working through there. Uh, but for now, we just need something to, um, so we can get the holding cell working. Look at that, that worked out really well. Uh, prison. This is fridges. Fridges. Yeah, fridges, that'll do. And then we want sinks. Lots of sinks. You need lots of sinks so you can wash all it. All the filthy bloody dishes, because they're filthy pigs. <laughs> they throw all this shit all over the floor. <laughs> I I really do love this game. I mean, seriously, I really fucking love this game. I've been playing for such a long time, and it's just a really, really good game. Because it allows a lot of creativity, and I like that. Uh, now we're going to just run a wall across somewhere here, so oh, we'll, we'll get to that later. Uh, we're going to build this now. Build this. And we're going to build... This. This. And we're going to build... This. And we're going to build... this. Why won't you do it? We need walls. We need doors. Um, actually we're going to go here. That. That's going to be security. I uh, don't know what this is going to be. Don't know what this is going to be. This is going to be story. Uh, sorry, this is going to be power. So we definitely want something there. We want a wall through there. I'm going to build this. Yeah. Got also power. I mean, um, water. I'm going to take it straight out from here. Run it down. Because the canteen is definitely going to need water. Um, one of the things you've you got to make sure you don't do, and it's, it's a big no-no, is you don't let these big water pipes get too close to prison blocks because they can use them to escape. Uh, we use the small pipes. So we're just going to run the small pipes down. 26, that should just make that, I hope, I hope, maybe we can get rid of that one and add one, that, I think 26 is, is where it runs out of water, not sure, now we need power, and then we've got power here, um, we're going to need, nope, nope, come in here, There, there, damn it, no. Oh. 
straight down the middle. That should connect it all, all together. Okay, there we go. And then this lot here can all get connected. Uh, and these can all be connected. And as long as they're separate circuits, because this one's going to going to power the cell block, but this one's going to power the canteen. So you just got to make sure they're separate circuits. Um, and yes, of course we need. At the moment we need an access. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I had no way of getting out there because it's all sealed in. Okay, so it means we can start getting some stoves and stuff down. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. We just put nine in. And we should be able to get the accountant now. Good. Let's get him going. And because I've already, I've already researched the accountant, so now we want to get security going. We also want to get this one going. And this site? No, we want health. We need health. Uh, next we want refrigerators. Uh, refrigerator. Right? Refrigerator. One, two, three, five, six. Uh, no, that's far. That's enough. And sinks. One, two, that should do with that. And, and then we're going to put a wall in here. Uh, actually, let's get rid of this one. I'm going to dismantle that. Dismantle it. Come on. So I want to put a wall there. That's it. Good boy. So I'm going to put a there. Not there. Yeah, put right, it there. Okay, and that's going to be the door. There. That's going to be our kitchen. As I said, this is this is just going to be temporary. This is just until we get the cell block built. And so now we need. This is going to be storage. Be storage. Storage is there. Okay. And why do we not have power? Right. Connect it. Connect the pipe either. Never do that. Um, got power there, so that's all right. Bingo! There we go. Now we need toilets. One, two, three, five, six, and we need some showers. Shower, shower, go back. We can have those showers. Right, we can move on benches. Actually, maybe we just should make it a, a dormitory rather than a um, holding cell. Let's do that. We don't need a. We don't need to make a um, uh, holding cell. But if we make a dormitory. Get more done. Okay. Uh, we can carry in more prisoners than we can if we had a holding cell, and that would give us time uh, to do what we want in terms of building the um, dormitory. We're going to change this to a dormitory. What do I need for a dormitory? Close indoors bed, bunk, toilet. Bingo. We need now is water. 
We still haven't got that yet. Oh, it's not connected. Oh, bloody hell. Stupid bums. Go and connect it. Okay, now we need water. Okay, there we go. That should do it. Now we need medical in here. Um, we should have got that by now, I guess. We've got a foreman. Um, let's give him a job. We need a wall. Um, we should have chief. We don't have a doctor yet. We've got that coming. Um, about cleaning, get that done. And we also want to get, uh, we don't need psychology yet, we want deployment going. So, get ready to start deploying guards. So, uh, particularly patrols, that's what I want. Uh, I want cleaners too. So, we want it so there's only one way into the prison. So we're down to 1.9 million, which is, you know, it's nothing really. Still got plenty of money. As I said, I like it being pretty. <laughs> I really do, I really do like it to be, you know, an attractive looking prison. So when the government bastards come around with the uh, the budget at the end of the year, they get my mind this is a very attractive prison. Oh, you're, you do a very good job. Here's some more money. <laughs> uh, we want some lights. Because why not? It makes it look better at night time. Here we go. Okay. Do we have our infirmary yet? Yes, we do. We need infirmary. Infirmary. We're not going to hire the doctor yet because we don't need it. No, uh, actually, we can we can actually break in now. We can let, let, let the prisons in. Intake. Uh, let's go fill capacity. We'll just fill capacity. And we're going. Maximum only, please. Take three maximum security prisons. Three? Fill to 38. It's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Now, the one thing we do need, we need a uh, sprinkler system in here. Just in case these bus decide to burn the place down. You never trust the fuckers. Uh, same in here. One there. Same in here. I think we're going to leave it here. Don't forget, leave a like if you enjoyed this. If you have any suggestions for this prison, then let me know and I'll be happy to implement your suggestions. Subscribe if you're new here and don't forget to share it with your friends and families. So you all have a bloody great day, Fluoros, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.